So I was going to wait before modifying my 201TC-M, but uh, you know it's been two weeks. I can't wait anymore. So I'm going to do a video on this one as I do it. Uh, kind of impromptu, I already kind of started. All I did so far was take out uh, these exhaust bolts on the bottom. So my exhaust is loose, but I still got to take the side panel off, so let's pick it up from there. Those bottom two exhaust bolts are already out. Let's go ahead and take this side panel off. And muffler slide right out. With the muffler off, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, remove the spark arrestor. If uh, you're going to be working in the forest or national park or something like that, don't do that because the law requires you to have one. Well, there's your spark arrestor. That done, I'm going to reinstall it. Now the method I like to do, some people, I mean there's different, like I said, there's different ways. They'll uh, open up the exhaust back there where the original opening is. Uh, I like to just drill out the side and then cut the case away a little bit. So I put the cover back on just so I can kind of see about where I want to drill my hole. So I'm going to cut out this bottom section on the case. So I'll drill it, mark it. Really, you should be using a vise for this, but I'm too lazy to go over to my vise. I don't feel like moving the camera. So, yeah, if I drill into my hand, it's my own damn fault. Don't do this. Clean that up a bit with the Dremel. I probably should have gone with a smaller bit first, but oh well, fuck it. Alright, so you can see I went and partied that up a little bit with the uh, Dremel. So we're done with the muffler mod. We can go ahead and put that back in and uh, modify the uh, side panel a little bit. Gonna have to cut out this little section down here plastic before I reinstall the muffler you know there's a bunch of metal shards and chips and everything in there so I'm going to go ahead and get my air gun blow it out real good and then when I put the exhaust back in the two bolts on the bottom they've been known on the steels to uh, work themselves loose so some high temperature thread locker is always a really good idea when putting those back in reinstalling the muffler See where our exhaust comes down, right under that plastic. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut that away. There we go. See how she runs as is.
it's been a week since I did the muffler mod the 201. So I'm going to go ahead and take it a step further, advance the timing a little bit. So let's do it. Now we're going to start by uh, removing the rewind cover. We're going to uh, take the flywheel off. Do that first. Going to uh, lock up the cylinder. So go ahead and take your spark plug out. All right. And since my uh, video I did on uh, changing out your sprocket bearing, I picked up uh, an actual piston stop from a uh, tree stuff for like five bucks. So. You know, after shearing off that rope, definitely something uh, I wanted to have. So if you have rope, go ahead and insert your rope, or if you have a piston stop, go ahead and insert your piston stop. And we'll lock up the flywheel, lock up your cylinder. With it locked up, you've got a 13 millimeter socket. Go ahead and break it loose. take that nut all the way off just want to break it so backed off just one rotation on the threads on this nut take uh, my extension with the socket stick it on there you need to hold this up off the bench I'm gonna take a mallet ball peen whatever you have handy I'm gonna tap the crank break up that uh, seal on the aluminum flywheel from the taper So mine came loose. Once it breaks loose, go ahead, finish taking off this nut, and remove your flywheel. When this thing is running, rotation is this direction. So to advance the timing, you can see there's that keyway in there molded right into the flywheel. So what we're going to do is remove a little bit of that keyway on this side so that when it sits on the crank, there's a few degrees difference from the stock orientation and it's rotated a little bit this way to get a spark at a different spot in the compression cycle. All right, so I have a small triangular file because it fits in that hole pretty well. You need to be careful. You don't want to scratch up the uh, mating surface that goes on the crank. You know, you can absolutely fuck up your machine doing this, so. This is aluminum, so it'll clog up your file pretty quickly, so it's always good to have a, a file card handy. Go ahead and clean that out. All right, as you can see, I filed away little bits of the uh, keyway. So, time to clean it up. Definitely want to get any metal shavings out of there. And go ahead and put it back in. When you're installing, Got my keyway on top of the crank. Make sure to line that up with your key. Go ahead and set it in there. And lined up stock, it would have sat right here. Can't really see too well on there, but I've got a little bit of play on this side that I filed down, so you can rotate it that direction. And that's what's going to advance your timing. Down in there, go ahead and put your note back on, tighten it up. And when you're reinstalling your rewind cover, your two fine threads go up front. Those go threading into magnesium. Your two rear bolts are coarse thread. They go into the rear, threading into plastic. Be very careful not to strip them out. All right, go ahead and put the barn chain back on, see how she does. Alright, it goes without saying, I forgot to mention, but you do have to put your spark plug back in. So, I've not yet started it. Let's see how she does.
So with the muffler mod and this timing uh, advance, you should put it right on par with my uh, other 201T. Yeah, this uh, saw was kind of leaving something to be desired pre-mod, but uh, you know, I've used it a bit with the muffler mod alone, and now with the timing advance, it'll open up even a little bit more. I'm very happy with it. So there you go. I don't really have any wood to cut, or else I'd uh, cut some wood for you. But uh, in my later videos, you know, this is the style I'm using in trees and everything, so you'll be seeing me in action. Have a good one, humans.